very soon get to real drawings. Now, when if we were the, put in charge of making this object, uh, the first thing we might ask is, okay, this plate is supposed to be one inch thick here. Let's change colors. This plate's supposed to be one inch thick here. But, uh, you know, look, I've got some uh, steel plate material here, and it's actually 0.995 inches thick. Is that okay? Well, how would we know that? I mean, 995 seems like it's awfully close to one inch. Um, sounds like it would probably work. Um, what if we had 0.75 inch thick material? Is that close enough? Well, it depends. I mean, who's... Whose idea of close do, do we go by? Well, to solve this problem, we have a concept called tolerancing. What is tolerance? Well, tolerance is the amount of deviation that we are allowed. from the drawing target dimension. So in this case, let's say that the engineer <clears throat> or the draftsman, he's determined that material he, he wants one inch thick material. But he's determined that if the material were ten thousandths of an inch less than one inch or ten thousandths of an inch more than one inch, that that would suit his function quite quite fine. Well, he would represent that, and we're going to put our dimensions with tolerances. We're going to make them green. So we're going to rewrite these numbers. So his thickness, he would actually, on the drawing, he would indicate one inch, as he did before, and then plus or minus point zero one zero. So now this is the tolerance, this plus or minus ten thousandths of an inch. Now he could do the same thing for the remaining dimensions. Okay. Um, the four inches, he might say, well, plus or minus 30 thousandths of an inch is fine. And the two inch dimensions, he might say the same thing, plus or minus 30 thousandths of an inch is fine. And for this hole, perhaps there's a, a pin that fits through that hole, and the pin is 0.749 is the maximum size of the pin and he may the designer the drafter may want to make sure that that pin will slip through this hole well then he may actually say that this hole has to be 0.751 instead of 0.750 plus or minus one and what would that mean well that would mean that this hole would be no smaller than 750 so that his 749 diameter pin would, would fit through this hole. And this hole could actually be as large as 0.752. Right? The plus or minus 1 allows this hole to be anywhere from 0.750 to 0.752. Right? Now, what we've shown here these plus or minus 30, plus or minus 30, plus or minus 30, plus or minus 30, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 10. We call that bilateral tolerancing. And that's just another 50 cent word, which means two directions. So these tolerances plus go plus or minus. And they're equal amounts here, plus or minus 10. Now, if we take our the same dimensions, and I'm just just real quick, we'll reproduce the our block here. We had it four inches square. Yeah, hole in the center. 
and we're going to discuss a couple of concepts here. The we established that the block was four inches long. plus or minus 0.030 okay we could all the, the drafter could also say okay this block is actually going to be dimensioned as 3.970 to 4.030 Right. And what is he saying here? Well, he's saying that the length of this block, it's still nominally four inches. Right, four inches would be the mean, right, the center between these two values. But he's displaying it by showing us the, the upper and lower limit. Okay, and that is in fact called a limit tolerancing. Right? So we have bilateral up here. That was our bilateral tolerance. And then here we've got limit. Now, <clears throat> let's go back to our hole again. And let's say, using the same example, we said that the drafter wanted that hole he wanted to make sure that it, his pin would fit in it. And the pin, we said that the his pin will just draw his pin over here. It's like that. It's a round pin. And his pin had a maximum size of 0.749 diameter. We didn't say what the minimum size was. We're not concerned with that. But the maximum size that that pin can be is 749 diameter. And he's determined that in order for that pin to fit in this block the way he wants it to, it has to have at least a thousandth of an inch clearance. Okay? So that's where he came up with his idea that he wanted this hole to be 0.750 diameter. Well, since what he's concerned about is making sure that the hole's large enough to accept that pin, he might, and very possibly would, dimension this hole this way and he would say okay I want that hole to be 0 0.750 and I want it to be plus because I have to allow some tolerance for manufacturing because it can't be made perfectly he's going to allow plus two thousandths minus zero All right now that is still the limit of 0.750 to 0.752 right that we had before it's just displayed differently and what's implied here is that he's he's targeting us for this 750 number but he's allowing us the tolerance right for manufacturing so we can overshoot the size of that hole if our if our drill drills a little bit oversized or whatever. Okay. This is called unilateral tolerancing. Right? Or one way, one direction. All the tolerance is to the plus side or to the positive direction. So the three methods of tolerancing that we're covering here are bilateral which is probably the most common limit and unilateral and that's going to do it for our discussion today introducing us to the concept of dimensioning and tolerancing